I'm Anne, and I'm so excited to be an oratory coach for 3 P Speech. I'm a former orator and public forum debater from the Madison West Forensics team in Wisconsin, and right now I'm a music composition major at the Frost School of Music at the University of Miami. I have a minor in songwriting, and I'm part of the Bruce Hornsby Creative American Music Program. So, what do I, as a sensitive singer-songwriter, know about speech and debate? Well, I competed in it for over for four years, and I spent three of those years competing in oratory, a category that I love so much, um, mostly because it is the one category that melds everything together. It melds the research and the logic and the evidence and the hardcore facts with you know, the stories and the emotions and the, the tears and the laughter, as well as it, it's the chance for you to show who you are as a person. Um, I've done oratory for over three years, and I started my sophomore year right after seeing a final round oratory at Nationals on DVD, and I was blown away. I knew for a fact that this was what I wanted to do and I basically stole a whole bunch of DVDs from my coach that were basically just final rounds from nationals and I watched them over and over and over and over again trying to learn like the little tricks and the details and the style that made every speech stand out um, and for a while imitating the greats worked for me. I was relatively successful with the speeches that I wrote um, in the beginning of my speech career but I really do believe that the reason why I had an especially good year last year, my senior year, was because I I stopped thinking more about oh how do I write my speech in a way that will make my audience laugh more or my judge nod their heads more um, and started letting go of the idea that I have to check boxes and try focusing on what am I trying to say why is this so important to me and making that as clear as possible for my audience um, I guess really just showing myself and accepting that that is good enough for the audience that's what they want to see and knowing that if I'm able to do that and keep up with all the other fundamentals like the structure and I guess the evidence and the logic behind it then everything else falls into place um, it's not about writing the perfect speech it's not about having the best joke or the best vehicle or AGD or whatever it's it's about finding a way to figure out who you are as a person what you want to say why it's important to you and translating that um, as honestly and directly as possible to who you are and I guess from that whole journey that I discovered throughout my four years in forensics I think I have a lot of insight that I can offer to anyone who wants to work with me um, as my student also in terms of coaching philosophy and what I can offer to anyone who wants to work with me um, I have three things in particular First are the fundamentals, and two, consideration of the audience, and three, speech voice. By fundamentals, I mean that in oratory, I know there's a huge pressure to be wildly original and to like break boundaries and everything, and I think that's really, really, really awesome. But I also think that there are patterns in oratories and certain oratorical things that people have done since the beginning of time, and they do it because it works. Like, there's a reason why we have a clear structure and form, why there is an intro, cause, effects, and solutions, and then conclusion. Um, it's basically, you know what you want to say, but the audience is still in the blind. They want to be able to follow you. And whether you like it or not, most people are going to check out of your speech. And having that clear structure allows them to get back in there and connect with you again when they do inevitably zone out. Ten minutes is a long time, so you never know. Um, and I also think that like having a foundation for yourself helps you know where you're headed in your speech. No matter what happens, you have to know where you are. Secondly, I believe that your speeches 
are your speeches, but they're not for you in particular. And this is something that I see with songwriting as well. Um, it's great that you that it is your speech and it's very personal to you, but you are writing for an audience. Um, the point of forensics is communication, and communication means more than just yourself. Um, you can't please everybody, obviously, but there are, in my opinion, about three types of people that you will speak to. There's the type who only want the cold, hard facts, or they really care about the numbers and the studies and the scientific journals that you can like talk about in your speech. And that's really cool. So they're really interested in the logical aspect of it, the argument. And then there's the people who are looking for the stories, you know, the emotional impact, the examples. Um, and then there's the last type who like all that other stuff, but really they just want to know who you are. The more they think they can understand you and kind of pinpoint your personality, the more they inherently like your speech, um, no matter how, like, I guess, how many numbers or statistics or stories you have, if you can communicate with them who you are, that's what they like to see. So understanding that that's like the demographic of your audience, um, I think there's a way for you to write a speech that has evidence and examples that kind of touch on that variety. Um, it not only makes your speech more well fleshed out and I guess plentiful and diverse, but it also allows your speech to be accessible to more people. And finally, your speech voice. I'm a singer-songwriter, so I know how important it is to write in a way that words flow naturally out of you. I think inflection is everything because the way you emphasize a word can definitely change its meaning. And I also think that if you know who you are, you can you can avoid writing things that are kind of unnatural to you. If you're a singer and you can't hit a high C, don't write a song with a high C in it. If you don't normally use really flowery language or vocabulary, don't put that in your speech. Your speech isn't an essay. Your speech is you talking, or it should be close to you talking as much as possible, in my personal opinion. In the end, oratory is the single category in which you get the most points for being yourself, and I believe in helping a student write in a way that allows for the audience to get to know you. I want to help anyone, I guess, who wants to work with me to write a speech that is not just something that stands out in competition in tournaments, but is something that you're proud of because you found a way to master and polish and, and close to perfect an idea um, that means something to you, that you believe means a lot to a lot of people. And I think in the end, that is what gives beauty to oratory and that's what makes it an art. And no matter what happens, I am so excited to work with anyone who is as in love with the idea of communication as much as I am and in love with the um, concept of oratory in general.